guys welcome back to shaman's kitchen i want to say a pleasant good evening to each and every one of you if you're visiting my channel for the first time i want to welcome you to my channel today i'm going to be sharing a recipe with you guys that's very very simple but i want you guys to guess what it is so i'm going to start preparing this meal and i'm going to show a few ingredients and while i'm doing that you guys please guess along and let me know in the comment what you think I'm making from these ingredients. You can tell right away what it is, but I want to hear from you guys. So if you guys wanna play this game along with me guessing my dinner tonight, come on down and let's get cooking. And don't forget to put in the comment what you think I'm making for dinner. Okay, so for this dish that we're guessing tonight, I have three chicken breasts washed with lime and cut into small pieces and guys look at the seasoning and think this will give you what um, this will give away what I'm making for dinner but leave in the comments so first of all I'm gonna go in with some freshly ground black pepper and I'm gonna make a nice fresh teaspoon over this right now So now I'm gonna be adding my salt and all the measurements will be in the description below. I'm gonna be adding some chicken seasoning and this is the Sari brand. This is a product of Guyana and can be found in the West Indian and Asian grocery store here in Canada. I have And then the nice thing that I like about this, you can seal the pack when you're done and the freshness will stay in the bag. So the next thing now, we're gonna add some green seasoning. And my green seasoning contain of green onion, thyme, garlic and pepper, about two tablespoons of green seasoning. And then we're going to be adding about two tablespoons of Chinese sauce. And this is also a Guyana brand, can be fi found in the West Indian and Indian grocery, um, Asian grocery store. So guys, Chinese sauce is going into this chicken. I hope you guys know what the dish is so far. I'm going to have to reveal what it is about halfway in. But so far, hope you guys are guessing. So now what I want to do is give this a mix and I will let it sit to marinate while my husband is going to help me to cut up all the vegetable that we're adding to this dish. I almost mentioned what it was. So, so while this is marinating, you can let it go for at least 15 minutes the longer you leave the marinade inside the better flavor you will get so it's up to you so these are some other ingredients i have to add to the dish today and i know from these ingredients it's going to be a giveaway to you guys so i have one large carrot i have some a uh, few stems of fine thyme i have some maruri pepper i have half of a red onion in here I have some bok choy or pak choy, some bora or long green beans, and I have a quarter of a cabbage washing in some vinegar water. This is what I'm adding to the dinner. So I hope you guys have a lot of clue to be able to guess what I am making today. In the meantime, while this these vegetables are washing in the vinegar water, I'm gonna go to my garden and see what I can pick fresh to add to this dish. So guys, let's go to the garden. So guys, look at my green onions, how big they are to be overgrown before I pick them. So I'm gonna add some of these to my dish today and I'm gonna go in and cut the big, like the huge one like these. See? So I'm gonna pick what I need for today's dish. And then as I go along every day, I'll come out and get fresh ones to add every day. 
into my dish so this is the joy of planting your green onions because you can pick and use them fresh when you're ready so here is my cilantro and they're coming nicely I have to prop it up a little and there's more over here all these ones are now spreading out so I'm not gonna pick cilantro but I want to pick some flat leaf parsley or celery so we're gonna go over there to get some so this is the flat leaf parsley or celery so I know it's not too big yet but I like the flavor for the dish that I'm making today so I'm not picking a lot I'm just gonna cut um, like a few hard stems on the outer part just a little bit because I don't want to pick too early for the, the plant to die out so just a little of this yeah so guys the other day when we had frost like wet snow damaged my plant a little look at the squash leaf how they're a little bit yellow and because I didn't get to do much in the garden I have a lot of weed that I need to pull out the pepper plants are still holding up my garlic plant is still here look at that and the same plant is still here I have the um, Malabar or the Poi Baji is still looking nice and my other pepper plant here but some of the plants have dry leaf and I'm not very happy about it this pepper plant have all its new leaves now so that's doing good the thyme is looking very nice and luscious but my bitter melon or corilla look how they look they're drying up because of the frost if they couldn't handle the frost I hope they don't die I'm hoping I'm gonna ask my husband to take all those dry leaves and my strawberry plant have a lot of strawberry on them I'm now just waiting for them to get ripe look at those ones look over here have some more and there's a lot in here and I have some on the bottom here like a lot going on here my ginger is springing up nicely and the turmeric and the kale are looking very nice and luscious my cucumbers are coming along I've covered some of these up thanks to my friend Kavita for calling me and letting me know that I, if I cover them up I can save them I couldn't cover all of the plants though and my Swiss are the leaves are looking dry but I'm hoping that I can get some out of them because I remember last year the same thing happened but they didn't die. The mint, nothing can hold that back from growing. Tomato plant here and my um, chow rai and these are flower plants. So I still have some more plants to put into the ground. Today the girls helped me to put some green onions down. And I still have a few more tomatoes and pepper to put in the garden. So guys, that's it for the garden. These are my own organic green onions grown in my own garden. From the head of the green onions I bought and cut out and plant. And now I'm happily picking them to cook. These are my flat leaf parsley. That I'm going to be adding to this dish so I hope you guys have a clear idea of what I am cooking today I'm going to be revealing soon but a little bit more of tension so guys now we're going to add the chicken to the pan with some oil and This chicken was sitting for over half an hour. So the next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of carrot drip into this. It's gonna help to cook the meat faster and nice and moist. And plus, it's gonna add a beautiful color to the chicken. So I am going in with some, um, about a, let's see, maybe one teaspoon. 
not too much. I just want to shake it up before I add it because sometimes it tends to get clumpy and I don't want a whole lot to fall in here. So just about a teaspoon and there you go. I'm going to mix it in and this also helps to preserve meat as well. So we will leave this to cook until the natural water or juice from the chicken is cooked and evaporated before we add anything else to the chicken. So my husband is doing an amazing job. He's helping me with the vegetables. So he has the carrots and the bora and he's doing an amazing job with the bok choy here, separating the green from the white. Amazing! So I have a good sous chef today. I can't tell lies or I can't take all the credit because my sous chef is doing a good job. So guys, look at this beautiful chicken that is cooked in a nice gravy, like a sauce here. I'm gonna turn my stove off and then I'm gonna reveal, and you guys, I hope you can guess again. This is the last chance to guess. I'm gonna reveal what it is because now I have to show this part of the dish. So guys, here is the secret revealing. I am making chow mein noodles today and I know some of you probably got it right or some maybe guess fried rice because the ingredients and the vegetables are very similar. So I am doing this lamb's brand. It's a Guyanese chow mein and it's been around since 1960. Let me see, 61 years ago. Um, and I want to try it. I, I think I eat this chow mein back home, but I never cook it on Charmin's kitchen. So I want to try it out today for the first time. It says 16 ounces. That's one full pound. So we have a lot of chow mein noodles in Guyana. I'm now starting to discover all the different brands because there's champion, there's lambs, there's brown betty. And there is the Imam that I just did not long ago. But the next chow mein I'm gonna be cooking on this channel will be the Brown Betty. So I just wanna mention that it's a no egg noodle as well for all my vegetarian friends. This um, is good for you as well and no salt. So remember when you're cooking this chow mein to add salt to the water. So I, the water is hot and I'm gonna add some salt into the water, about two teaspoons because there is no salt in this chow mein. And I like to break up the chow mein noodles before I add them to the pot. So I already did that and I'm gonna put this in now. And I'm just gonna leave it to cook until it's nice and soft and have the right texture before I take it out. So guys, for me, what I notice when the chow mein noodles start coming up to the surface, I always um, find that it's finished that way, but you, always, you have to test it and make sure that it is the texture that you like it. This is done. I'm gonna strain it, and then I'll start preparing the vegetable for this chow mein. So in the pot now, I'm using the same pot that I boiled the chow mein noodle in because I like to mix up in a wide pot. I'm going to be adding the carrots because that's the hardest vegetable to cook. And I just want to toss them around a little in the oil and let it cook for a few minutes before I add any other vegetable in here. So carrots is looking nice. I am going to add my onion and then we will mix this up a little. Look at the color combination of the red onion and the carrot. This looks beautiful. And I'm going to add now my bok choy head the white part of it so this can cook a little but it has such a beautiful flavor and this is a very very nutritious uh, vegetable 
the consume. Look at the color. Beautiful. And we're gonna add the bottom of the bok choy uh, closer to the end. But we want it to cook up a little. And now I'm gonna add the bora. Our long green beans. And then we have to start flavoring this up now. So I like to flavor up the vegetable before I add this chow mein back to the pot. I'm gonna make this as um, close to how we used to do it back home. So now I'm gonna add in here my um, fine leaf thyme. And I have my pepper for flavor. I'm gonna add that right now. I'm gonna put my stove on medium heat. And then I'll start adding all the rest of the um, spices. So I'm going in with some freshly grind black pepper. I'm gonna put a good amount. This smells amazing. And it also looks beautiful in the eyes. This can be eaten just like this. My husband loves to eat it like that. And then I'm gonna add some salt. Just about a teaspoon of the pink Himalayan salt. And then I'm gonna add some fried rice seasoning, the sari brand. And this is optional, the fried rice seasoning, but I find that it adds a very nice flavor to the chow mein noodle. You know what, I had chow mein seasoning, but that's okay. I picked the wrong one up, but that's fine. And now I'm gonna add some spy, um, some Chinese spice to this. And this is also the Sari brand. Can be found in any West Indian or Asian grocery store in Canada. And I'm sure that they have them in different countries as well. This is a Chinese brand of Chinese spice. And this smells mouth watering good right now. So to get some of that flavor into the bok choy leaves, I'm gonna add them now. And then I have some cabbage to add to this. And a little piece of ginger. So ginger goes a nice long way in chow mein or fry rice and it's also good for our immune system i'm adding the um cabbage so all that flavor that i just add in here will mix into all the vegetable and add flavor in every bite and the next thing i want to go in with is some chinese sauce this looks and smell amazing. So let's go in with our Chinese sauce. This will add a very nice flavor to the vegetable and it will add some color as well. Everything. All the spices today that I use is pretty much what we use in Guyana. Look at that. How does this look? amazing so i will add the chicken back to this and we will start mixing up our chow mein noodles so in all that goodness we're going to be adding our chow mein noodles so i add i'm gonna add all of it and then we're gonna mix slowly to get everything Mix in well. I have my stove stove on 
the lowest I can possibly put it because you don't want anything to overcook at this point. So now I added the chicken back, that nice juicy chicken that we had sitting on the side. I'm going to mix this up nicely to get in all the beautiful flavor from the chicken and the vegetable. And then this is going to be one delicious, nutritious, chow mein cook back home style. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is with the vegetable. Look, wow. This looks so good. So I really need to mix it in, but now is the time when I'm gonna add my flat leaf parsley from the garden, fresh. I didn't wanna cook that in. And look at my beautiful organic green onions. I'm gonna add them now, right on top like that. And I will mix this in and come back and show you guys the next step. So guys, here is that beautiful lamb's chow mein cooked in a bunch of delicious vegetables and chicken breast. It, it looks so delicious and it came out nice and juicy. So I'm getting to like this chow mein a lot now. It didn't get soft. It cooked to a nice texture and it hold all the seasoning very nicely. So today's lamb's chow mein looks amazing before i dish myself a plate out i want to shout out to jillian jillian is one of my viewers and subscriber i have a success so story to share for jillian she made my butter flap recipe and she it came out so beautiful she was very happy with the turnout so right after this video i'm going to be sharing jillian's success story with you guys So guys, here it is, my beautiful, delicious lamb's chow mein. And I have it just like we used to do back home with some tomatoes, some cabbage, and cucumber. I put my pepper on the cucumber to give it some flavor. And I dip the pepper with this fork so it is gonna be a hot and spicy mouthful. To all my viewers and subscribers, I'm taking my first mouthful for you guys. For all my vegetarian friends, you can do this and leave the chicken step out because this noodle is a no egg noodle, so perfect for my vegetarian friends. So to all you guys, you're invited for the lamb's chow mein tonight for dinner. Cheers. Mm. Wow, I am surprised. The chow mein noodle have like it suck up all that flavor. And you know, sometimes when you cook noodle, it no matter how much ingredients you add, it, the flavor don't get into the noodle. This one, it act, you can actually taste the flavor for the noodle and it's so rich with all that vegetable and the seasoning from it and the meat everything oh my goodness this is such a delicious plate i have here right now i wish you guys can taste it so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing i'm gonna taste another mouthful mm. if you never had lamb shaman before Give it a try guys, it's amazing. So I wanna say, stay blessed, stay safe, you guys. Bye for now.